Hi friends and welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm so happy you're here and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new or you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that and comment below something you're looking forward to this week or this summer. I'd love to hear from you. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a bunch of different things, but the first is getting ready for my shop update. I talked about it and leading up to it in the past couple studio vlogs and today it is finally happening. So I am so excited. By the time you're watching this video, all of the products will be out already on my Etsy. So you can shop that if you want to. No pressure though. <laughs> but to get ready, I updated my Instagram bio to mention the new sticker designs. And then I got a post ready. I had it drafted up. I posted that as soon as I launched the designs. And I just went through the listings one more time to check all the details and make sure everything looked good to go. And then a couple minutes before nine o'clock, I made all of the listings public and posted about it so everyone knew to go check Etsy. I started to see the orders coming in and it really made my morning. It was right before I went to my regular nine to five job. So it was so great to have this launch out of the way and just be at work and get little notifications that you guys were ordering things it truly made my day so this launch was definitely a big success thanks to you guys and if you see any of the stickers in the pictures that i'm showing and you'd be interested in getting one for yourself they are up on my etsy so you can shop there enjoy the rest of the shop update clips So now it is the next day. I didn't do much of anything after the launch besides go to my office job and work. But when I got home from work, a package had arrived that I ordered during the big Prime Day sales. So if you're not familiar with Prime Day, it's when Amazon has two days out of the year where they have big, huge sales. A bunch of stuff, including electronics, are super discounted so i had had my eye on this logitech keyboard ipad case for quite a while i've wanted to be able to use my ipad as kind of a combo for drawing and admin work so now instead of having to bring my laptop with me everywhere i can just flip the case open and use it as a laptop of sorts so enjoy this unboxing of this new case i've been using it for about three or four days since i got it while i'm recording this voiceover and i absolutely love it it was a great investment um it is a little bit pricey but it was about 40 percent off with the prime day sales so that made it worth it for me i don't know if i would have paid full price for it i probably would have gotten a cheaper one but logitech has great electronic accessories this isn't sponsored wish it was but yeah i highly recommend this case i will link it below for you if you're interested and it comes in a couple different colors but i just went with a nice neutral gray the outside of it has kind of a fabricy texture which is really nice i like you know holding it in my hand it feels really soft and fabricy and the keys are super nice and clicky and then the keyboard part comes off and on so if i ever want to have just the ipad without the keyboard i can just detach the keyboard portion but there will still be a case on the backing of the main ipad so that was a feature that i really liked so yeah enjoy this i highly recommend this case if you are in the market for one
The next portion of this video is just a few clips from my lunch break at work. I work in the city, so I decided to go for a little walk and visit a new coffee shop that I hadn't tried before. I just stumbled across it as I was walking and it was amazing. And I also stopped in the local bookstore, which you may have seen in my day in my life video. I, this is the second time I've been here in the week, but I don't usually buy stuff. I like to just look around. So I grabbed this puffy laptop sleeve from Bagu to protect my Logitech keyboard case. I know it's funny that I got a case for my case, but it was an investment and I want to make sure to keep the new keyboard safe as well as my iPad. So that's all I got from this excursion. All right, it is now the next day, which will be two days since the big launch, and I've decided to pack some of the orders. So in these next clips, I wanted to give you guys an in-depth look at exactly how I package my orders. So instead of time-lapsing through a ton of orders, I'm just gonna package a few and show you guys in real time exactly what I do to pack all of them. So one of the best investments I've made for my sticker shop is this 4x6 photo box that I actually used to store all my stickers. It's been great in helping me stay organized and packing orders quicker. A lot of people ordered the little tote bag sticker that says be kind to the earth as well as the circular one that says coffee girl. Those were the two best sellers from this particular launch. And as we speak, I have a poll up on my Instagram. It'll be gone by the time you're seeing this, but where people can vote on some other beverages they might wanna see stickers made out of. So we already decided in my next launch, I am going to be doing a coffee girl sticker that has an iced coffee cup rather than a mug, because I know a lot of people prefer iced coffee over hot coffee, myself included. But from that, I got a lot of comments suggesting other drinks like boba or matcha or chai. So I just did a little poll asking which of those three people would want or there was a space if people had other suggestions. So we'll see what ideas come in and stay tuned because there might be one or all of those in the next launch. If you ordered from me during this launch or really ever in the entire course of my Etsy, I'm so grateful for you. Without you, I would not be able to keep this shop going because a good majority of the proceeds that I get from orders just go right back into the shop. I love to branch out, buy new products, try out new things, and I really wanna branch out even more in my next launch. I've been researching washi tapes and tote bags and pins and no promises yet for anything. I haven't, you know, fully locked anything in yet, but I definitely want to branch out from stickers and post-it notes, but so far those are my best sellers, and I just wanted to give you guys a formal thank you for all of your support, whether it be digitally or monetarily or just telling me that you like my art. It means a lot, and even little comments like that motivate me to keep creating things and help me stay creative, so thank you.
a few studio vlogs ago, I don't remember which one, but I gave you guys a little Gilmore Girls update and I thought today we would talk music. So we talked about TV and now I want to talk about music. What do you guys like to listen to? What do you listen to when you're doing schoolwork or when you're working on boring administrative tasks? Like what are you blasting into your ears at top volume? I need some new music. I absolutely love to listen to podcasts while I work, but nothing beats turning up a happy dance song at full volume and just speeding through work because you have so much energy from this happy song. My go-to happy music lately has been Harry's House. I know it's basic, but the girlies love it for a reason because it's quality music. So Harry Styles' new album, Harry's House, in particular, Late Night Talking, will always have me dancing, will always have me on my feet. Like, I can't sit still listening to that song. I also have been loving Gracie Abrams lately. She's a bit more of like sad girl vibes, but still can, you, you can dance to sad girl music. Who says you can't? Normalize dancing and crying at the same time to sad girl music. I need to make that my motto. Um, I also, as always, love Taylor Swift. I've been in my reputation era lately, listening to a lot of that album. It's not like my favorite album of hers. Like it wouldn't be in my top three, but for some reason lately, I've just been absolutely loving it. So that's what I listen to. Basic girly Harry Styles and Taylor Swift, you know how it is. Sometimes I will randomly listen to, I have the most random taste in music because I'll get on kicks where all I listen to is like Michael Buble. I'm like, who am I? Am I a 60 year old woman? Like, but I love him and he's a king and his music is amazing and his voice is beautiful. But I'm like, how do I like Michael Buble and Taylor Swift? And then also like jazz. Like the music that's in the background of my videos, I'll just listen to on a regular basis while I'm working. And my friends will make fun of me because on like road trips, I'll just put on jazz with no words. They're like, how do you stay awake? But for some reason, it just makes me feel so calm. Like it eases my brain. It makes me, it slows my heart rate. I loosen my jaw. I don't hunch my shoulders. Like jazz without words just makes me feel a certain kind of way a certain kind of calm that no other music makes me feel so that's that's what i listen to um i can link my spotify down below i don't know if that's something you guys would be interested but i've showed you my playlists on instagram before if you follow me so i'll bring it into the world of youtube and link my spotify for you guys if you want to see what i'm listening to and if you have any playlists or albums or artists you recommend tell us about them in the comments why you love them your favorite song from them because i'm always up for some new music
orders are packed, I'm gonna take them off to the post office and if you ordered, you'll receive yours super duper soon. After a long working week, my best friend and I decided to go down the coast to Santa Barbara. So we visit an art market, a coffee shop, a bookstore, and the best part of the entire trip was the cat cafe i've heard about these i've seen them on social media and i had never been to one but you know me you know i love cats so this was truly heaven on earth i got to play with about a dozen different cats i pet them i cuddled with them i named them inside my head which then made me extra sad to leave but all of these cats were up, were up for adoption which meant i was so close to snatching them all up and taking them with me but this little brown one became my best friend we just sat together for like 20 minutes and just we talked we chatted we bonded and it was life-changing so if you have a cat cafe near where you live go right now that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for tuning in and i hope to see you in the next video bye